Hello to everyone out there. Um, I have my sons involved in this lesson. Um, this is going to be a, a continuation of, you know, uh, the lesson about, you know, the end of the world. We was watching uh, the news, and the news is very disturbing. You know, um, I was I'm teaching my sons, you know, not to lie, you know, certain sins that kids always fall into. Um, you know, I'm teaching them now, you know, to live holy. And, uh, you know, as my father instilled in, in me, you know, you know, love Jesus Christ and, and he's your Lord and Savior. Um, you know, um, this one here is seven years old. His name is Ramel. This one's over here. His name is Terrell. He's he's 10. And we were watching the news and we heard of uh, it was a situation of a guy. Um, I'm not sure. Matter of fact, we take that. I don't know if it was a guy or not, but it was a car. Uh, they got burnt up and there was a body in it and this happened I think last year and it's just it, it's telling us that this world is very evil and wicked um, they believe that it was motive of a homicide you know it, it could have been someone that you know actually did this and it's I already believe they did it because they already found certain evidence. But this lesson is not about the news, but it shows you again that these are the end days. And I was showing my son in Matthew 24 where I told him about the wars and rumors of wars. And he was sitting here, you know, he was very interested in what I was saying. And, um, you, you, you know, a lot of people that's older don't even believe the Bible, but my son is 10 and he understands, he can feel that this Bible is real. Not brainwashing him, but it's, you can tell it's common sense. I mean, the Bible says wars and rumors of wars, and you got wars and rumors of wars and constantly having them. <laughs> that should tell you that the Bible is true. It's nothing fake about the Bible. It's real. This place is about to be done. You can tell by the earthquakes we're having, you know, Haiti. Chile and other numerous earthquakes that I previously showed on um, the the other video that I made called Wars and Rumors of Wars. Um, you know, it's just I was telling them that you have to live holy. You know, you have to come away from all your sins and me included. You know, I struggle with a certain, you know, certain things. But again, my aim is not to stay in wobble in sin. You know, I'm doing these videos on YouTube to um, get the message across that you have to live holy, you know, put God first in your life. Um, and this lesson, I, this is really, I can't even call it a lesson. I, I made this video because, um, you know, I love people. I have a love for all people now, something that I never did before. So I know it's the Holy Spirit that's doing this. And I was telling my son um, again about the guy, um, that I came across. It was a homeless guy. I was going to give me some some food and saw this guy going across the street. He was homeless looking, staggering, you know, like he was drunk. And what we was going into was how you can entertain angels unaware. And the story about this angel that I believe that happened, that I seen you know, I, I got him some food. That this, God put the spirit on me to, you know, help this individual out. So I, as I was going to get him some food, I ordered him some as well. Hopefully I can run back into him since, you know, since he was walking. And uh, as he was, as I was getting my food, I ordered him some food. And then after that, I got back in my car. I found him. Couldn't park. My car was on the highway, like on the street. And. I made another U-turn, and as I made another U-turn, I was at the stop sign. And at that stop sign, it, God put that man right where I can give him the food, right at the stop sign. No one's behind me or anywhere. And as I gave him the food, you know, I, before that, I seen another guy leaning over the fence. He was leaning, like not a fence, but a pole, and just leaning there and, and just kind of like observing what was going on. So as I passed that guy, I didn't really pay him too much attention. But he kind of just stuck out in my mind. But after I gave the homeless guy the food, I made another U-turn to go back home because I live on a one-way street. 
and I had to make another U-turn and go back the opposite way. And as I went and went past the stop sign, again, they were vanished. They were gone. And I believe there was angels because it says in, uh, let me get this scripture. Let me get this scripture group. Where was it, Tavir? Um, was it Hebrews? I think it was in Hebrews. Yeah. Hebrews 13 and 2. And this is the New International Version. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some people have entertained angels without knowing it. <laughs> I believe. The way they vanished, because it was only two seconds, like maybe a, a half a minute after I made the U-turn, they were gone. I didn't see a bus. I didn't see a car, anything. You know, it's a U-turn. It's not, you know, a car can't just pass me and pick them up that quick. So, you know, I, you know, God want us to do the right thing. He tested, he tested Abraham, you know, uh, with his son Isaac. But as he was getting ready to slay his son, the angel stopped him. So he tests, you know, to see if you're going to do any, you know, any alms. And most of the time when you do your alms, which is when you give, you're in a, you should be in a situation where it's just you and that person. Um, I'm really not sure how this is going to go. We just threw this up together real quick. He's like, let's go make a video, you know, because I was talking about the Bible to my, I always talk about the Bible to my sons, you know, I, I'm doing, um, I'm embedding it in their minds now, you know, that you have to live holy and God will use you. And he also will test you with angels or a homeless guy. You're going to go through it too. <laughs> so you too, look at you, you sleepy. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not sure how long this is. We all know that YouTube only allow 10 minutes of a video to upload, so this may be a part two, I'm not sure.